Hey everybody. Uh, so what we wanted to do with this video was basically just kind of drive around the little bot and talk about him a little bit. Uh, this is the little bot uh, plus because he's got the Bluetooth there. I don't have the gripper on him because we just don't need the gripper. Uh, if you get the little bot basic, you don't have the Bluetooth chip or the gripper attachment. It's basically just the Arduino Nano on top. You've got the main board, the ultrasonic sensors, batteries, everything. Everything you need to have a robot that you can program using any of the Arduino tools like Blockly or the IDE. Uh, so it's a good programming platform there, but you don't have like the app support or anything else. It's a good platform if you've got lots of parts lying around because it gives you what you need to get started and then you can expand from there. Uh, but we're going to work with the plus here. Uh, let's just go ahead and get connected here. So I've got, um, once you get the bot, the first thing you got to do uh, with the Arduino board is download the Walter o OS sketch from the website. It's there to be downloaded. It's in the little bot code samples. You upload it to the Arduino Nano without Bluetooth plugged in so you don't interfere with USB and Bluetooth. But upload that sketch so that now this can be controlled by the app. Plug in the Bluetooth module. You have to go into settings, pair to the bot inside of settings, just like you have to pair with any Bluetooth device. Password is 1234, very complicated. <laughs> Once that's done, you can go ahead and open up the little bot app. You select the Bluetooth settings, you select the Bluetooth module that is there, and we're good to go. Uh, let's see here, I don't think I, I think I got the wrong one. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, I messed up the app here. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I didn't mess up anything. Just wasn't paying attention. So, once the app is ready to go, uh, since this one doesn't have the gripper, this bar over here is for controlling the gripper or some extra servo if you add it on there. Uh, you've got the stop button right there, which just stops him from doing whatever it happens to be doing. Remote control mode on top, and then autonomous wander mode down on the bottom. And then when you're in remote control mode, you have this main disc, which is basically just a joystick. So I've got forward, backward, spin him around, right, left, back him up, forward. So pretty simple there. Big exciting thing. But uh, if you've got him in water mode, then he activates his sensors and he basically just bounces off of the wall. So let's go ahead and do that. There we are. Get the thing there. There we go. And then... There we are. You can't always see your hand. The ultrasonic sensors, your hand sends the sound waves off in different directions, so sometimes he kind of legs on that. But that's the wander mode. You've got control of both of those there, and of course the hand is stop. So nothing too uh, weird or wacky with that. Uh, the, the, the big important thing with the, the app is just to make sure you've uploaded the correct code to the, the little bot. Because some folks, you, they, you grab the wrong code and then the app's not working and you're like, ah, oh, the app's not working. But it's just upload the code to the, the Arduino and you're fine. Uh, you do have to know how to do that. Um, it, it doesn't take much to do it, but it is a requirement of using this kit. You have to know how to upload Arduino. That's part of the, the educational experience of building one of these robots. But once you've got the robot, as I said, we ran through everything else. You've got the sensors, you've got the Arduino on the back. Uh, you've got about eight servo pins that you can tap into. You can also use them as sensor pins. You can power sensors and read from them. And then you've got analog read and analog inputs over here on this side. The servo inputs are basically just digital ends if you want to use them that way. Uh, once you've got that all set and ready to go, on the side is the main connector for all the, the attachments. You just plug stuff onto there. Uh, on the Thingiverse page where all of the extensions files are posted, uh, there is a dimensioned drawing. So if you want to design your own attachments, that is there so you can design correctly so they fit on everything. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the little bot. Uh, it's a basic pro platform that's just really easy to add stuff onto because we've got a lot of extensions, a lot of extension hardware in the, the, the circuitry of it, as well as the ability to physically connect things to this bot in an easy way. And of course, since it's just a plastic case, if you're really feeling adventurous, it's easy to drill holes in all of this. There's a lot of space in there. Uh, even though you've got the battery pack inside of it, there's a lot of area right along here, along the front where you could drill stuff in, and then even these flanges up here you can connect to or straight down from the top. There's a lot of places to physically change the structure of this bot. But that's a little bot, guys. Hopefully that uh, kind of cleared up anything if you didn't, couldn't see it in the demo video there. We've got a lot of demos. We're going to be making a lot more. Uh, it's 
just a really good kit to get started on and we're going to try to make sure that it's able to carry folks through for as long as they are interested in robotics and not building something freaking really advanced so thanks everybody